Yeah, hello, my lovely friends. It is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalex TV. As you have started with handling data, today our topic is pie chart. So, a pie chart is a circular diagram which is divided into what? Sector to represent what? Parts of what? Holes or proportion of a whole. So, now we look at a question and see how best we can go about it. So, this is the question that we have. So, the table below shows the distribution of people in a from one class who speak some of the Ghanaian languages. So these are the Ghanaian languages that they speak. We have Nzima, Ga, Chi, Ewe, and Fati. So the number of people who speak Nzima, they are five. The number of people who speak Ga, they are 20, 30, 50, and 10. So when you look at this, before we can draw the pie chart, the first thing we have to do is so, to know the total number of the students or the total number of the people who speak or the Ghanaian languages. So when you add all of this, we are going to get 90. So the total number of students here, they are what? 90. So for us to find the angle sector, we know that the sector is having an angle of what? 360. So we are going to divide that 360 by the number of people. So for us to know what? The angle sector of what? Each of the languages what? Spoken. So we take the first one, 5. So the 5 out of the total 90, times 360 degrees. So we know that the 90 will go into 360 four times. So four times five will give us what? 20 degrees. So that means the angle sector of students who speak in SMA, they are what? 20 degrees. So the same way we come to GA, 20 people spoke what? GA, or they speak what? GA. So that will be 20 over 90 times 360 degrees. So this 90 will go into 360, 4 times, so 4 times 20 will give us what? 80. So we have 80 degrees here. Then we come to 3, 30 students speak what? 3. So 30 over 90 times 360 degrees. So same way, 90 will go into 360, 4 times and then the 4 times 30 will give us 120 degrees. So we have our 120 degrees here. Then we come to Ewe. So the Ewe is 25 students over the total, which is 90, times the angles in what? In a circle. So that is 360 degrees. So this here one, and to go here, 4 times, so 4 times 25 will give us what? 100 degrees. So here we have 100 degrees. Then we come to the last but not the least, which is what? Fanti. And that one, 10 students what? Speak that language. So 10 over 90 times 360 degrees. So the same way, 90 go there 4 times. 4 times 10 will give us what? 40 degrees. So when we add all of this, you are supposed to get what, 360 degrees. So let's see what we have. So 20 plus 80 will give us 100. 100 plus 100, that is 200. 200 plus 120, 320 plus 40, then you get what, 360 degrees. So the total is what, 360 degrees. So now we are now going to draw the pie chart and represent these angle setters on it. Three sixty. Now that you have done the calculation and have the angle sector, we are going to represent the angle sector on this. So before that, as soon as you are done with this, what we have to do is. You draw a radius from the center to... So once you are done with this, then we start drawing an angle. So we, the angle sector, the first angle sector for Nzima is 20 degrees. So the first language is Nzima and then the angle sector is 20. So we put a protractor on the line. So the baseline of the protractor should be on this line and the center should be on this line. So we have like this, 
the center is on the center. Then we count to 0, 10, 20. So we have the first one, 20 here. So this 20 degrees is for Nzima. The angle sector there is 20 degrees for Nzima. Then after that we have Ga, which is 80. So 80 degrees. So the same way we stand at the center and the baseline like this. Then you locate our 100 starting from 0. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So this is our 80. We locate our 80 here. So we draw two. So the angle sector here is what 80 degrees. And that 80 degrees is for ga. So after ga, we have three, which is 120 degrees. So the same way, the baseline on this line, and then the center at the center. So the center line here is at the center here. Then we count. 120 degrees so yeah 0 10 20 30 40 50 so you have the 90 100 120 here so you have 120 here so after that you draw through so this 120 degrees and the angle sector is 120 and that is for 3 the language tree. Then after that, we move to the next one, a way, which is 100 degrees. So the same way, the center line at the center and the baseline on the line. So, so as you can see, the center line here, the baseline here. So we count to 100. So 0, 10, 20, 30. So we have our 90, 100 is here. So after that, we draw two. So this is 100 degrees and it's for a way. So we have it there. Then the last one is what? Fat, which is what? 40 degrees. So since all the calculations are accurate, the last one has to be what? Exactly 40 degrees. So there's no need to join it. So here we have our 40 degrees here and that is for Fanti. The number of students who speak Fanti, when the, the other center is what? 40 degrees. We are done with the pie So every drawing or every diagram needs what? A title. So we say a pie chart showing the angle sector of what? Ghanaian languages. So this is the pie chart showing the angle sector for Ghanaian languages so that the student will speak. Now we come to B. B says, what is the modal Ghanaian language? So the modal Ghanaian languages, when you look at this, the language that is having the most of the sectors or the biggest sector is three. So because of that, the three is what is the modal Ghanaian language. That's the language that what most students speak most. So the modal Ghanaian language is what is three. Now we come to the next of the question who says what? If a student is selected at random from the class, what is the probability that he or she speak Ga? So what is the probability that he or she speak Ga? Now, probability of an, an event is equal to number of events over number of total outcome. Probability of an event, number of events over number of total outcome. Now, when you look at this, the number of people who speak Ga, they are 80. So we can say 80 over the total is 360. So 80 over 360. So there, this zero will cancel the zero. So four will go here two times and four will go here nine times. So which is the same as what? Two over nine. So the probability that a student to say rather speak the language ga is two over nine. Or from the question, we know that 20 students speak what? They speak ga. So we can say that 20 over the total, which is what? 90 students. So the same way the zero will cancel zero. We are left to 2 out of what? 9. So the probability that the student chosen a random speak ga is 2 out of 9. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV. Menalize TV when the sun rises.